We're in here. Let's get it. All right. For everybody that don't know, tell everybody, uh, what's your name, man? Who we here with? Man, I'm, you here with Alfred the best. You know what I'm saying? Not just trying to be cocky, but that's just the birth name. You know, I'm named after my grandfather. You know, Northeast. San Antonio, you know, went to Roosevelt High School, then I went to Madison High School. Uh, was going to go to Texas State, but I had kids and had other choices in life. So I've just been, I guess, recognized as one of the street ballers here in San Antonio that's been underrated. And I'm glad for Pro Jumpman Jones for giving me this platform to show that, you know, um, that I need to be reckoned with and need to be talked about when it comes to hoopers and, and this San Antonio culture. That we got and uh i'm just here to you know take names and give statements you know what i'm saying not to the jersey and jury but you know what i'm saying to the people out there that need to know that what i do on the court is what i do for a living you know all right well, there yeah. you go people there you go so uh when did you start hooping? let's get right into it honestly um it, it, it started really three really three going on four and it, and it really started from you know using like the little nerf balls or like balloons right and they used to shoot in my grandmother's hoop uh -huh. i mean not who i'm sorry a little lamp yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, used to, I used to sit in the living room all day and do it but i used to get in trouble so i had to wait till she goes to sleep or leaves and i was just in the living room because i didn't have no i didn't have a court yet you know what i'm saying but i didn't think my grandparents you know really didn't see i was gonna play basketball like that until i started showing them you know using the lamp and then from the lamp it went from the laundry basket and then from uh -huh. the laundry basket it went from you know trash the clothes hangers you remember the clothes, clothes hangers man, man that's, that's classic and then the little yeah. crate the, the crates where the milk cartons and stuff goes it, it, it started from there then on my i want to say on my fifth birthday that's when i got a hoop and and then ever since then it was it, it i just programmed myself a different way like i know people have a way of coping or you know trying to figure out what they're going to do with their game. But right. I've always channeled, like, not even just Michael Jordan and Kobe. It was just, I just wanted to always be in my own lane because my last name just mm -hmm. speaks for itself when he, mm -hmm. when I, you know, when I talk, tell people about myself, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it just, I just always programmed it, you know, always control the game. What's your game type? If you had to uh, uh, put a style on your game play, what would you, what's, what's your style like? Slash score. Score. Comfortably, not, uh -huh. not. I don't try to do, you know, tough shots or you know, just everything. Every every shot y'all see me take, I told him, like I told him, I, I I live and die with that. That's that's that's, that's just to start, because mm -hmm. then you know what I'm saying. If I get hot in the mm -hmm. mid range, then I'm already driving in. Mm -hmm. Like for me, it's like I'm going to Vegas and I'm gambling. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mm -hmm. play blackjack 21. I'm gonna get that 21. I'm gonna have you guessing on your feet. I, I see the position of your feet. Mm -hmm. I look at a game different. You know, I see the position of your feet, position how you got, how you are. Eye contact, eye contact is everything. If you're not paying attention to that ball, mm -hmm. you know the left or whatever else can get you. And ladies and gentlemen, you hear he ain't not just talking. He's actually five and zero oh in a in a pro Jumpman Jones uh, platform. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about a, a little bit about that. How'd you hear about the platform? Um, just surfing, just surfing through Facebook, man, and, and it was just, you know, you know how some people, they they throw something out there and you mm -hmm. just kind of, you know, they, they put it out there one time and then you don't see him again, but then mm -hmm. it was just, mm -hmm. he was, I just seen his face, and I was like, man, like, mm -hmm. either I played ball with him somewhere, it was just something, but it was just, it's his face just caught my attention, mm -hmm. and then I, then I started seeing all the homies, you know what I'm saying, was on there, like Savage, uh, mm -hmm. Mateo, you know, they, you know, they brothers, and Everybody that I knew mm -hmm. from I grew up with and played ball with, they was on that, and I was like, "Yo, I'm finna, I'm finna see what's up. Well, I'm gonna see what the list." So I hit him up, uh, Alfonso hit him up, and I was like, "Say, put me on the list, man." You know, and he was like, "Man, it's a long list, but you know, I got you. If you, if you serious, I got you." So you know, and, and ever since, ever since then, like he called me, he was like, "Hey, your first opponent, you ready?" <laughs> say less, and I was just ready for any challenge and. And of course, now you see it's five and zero. I succeeded, and I'm planning to go further. Even though my next competitor, which we'll talk about in a little bit, you know, uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. You know, but that's gonna be toughest. So we'll get we'll get to talking about that in a little bit. But yeah, that's where my mind is right now. I'm really focused on the next game tomorrow. That's what's up. Yeah. Uh, five and zero, oh, man. Uh, any any rememberable challenges or any memorable games? 
that uh, uh, stand out to you on that five? You know, the, getting there? Um, the three, the th top three I'm going to name, and this is respectfully, this is no, no malice or nothing like that, but uh, right. Renee Garcia, mm -hmm. because of because of length, you know, he was he was an inch taller than me, as y'all can see. He was an inch taller than me, but just you know, it was a battle of length and who was gonna who was just gonna just get more buckets. Right. You know what I'm saying? And before I continue with this, I want to say this. You know what I'm saying? Every everybody wants to be an individual player, and everybody wants to you know shine when it's coming dribbling in the rock and trying to look pretty. Mm -hmm. But you can't look pretty when you ain't got enough energy, and then you ain't got enough energy to play defense. And I tend to try to show y'all not just the left hand, but defense also from the, if they're shooting mid-range they're trying to go in control yourself on defense because you need that defense to win games and I'm trying to prove in every level of how I play from either going to the left or jump shots or defense but most importantly defense okay then the next I'm gonna have to go with um, Brian I'm gonna say Brian Schuler only because you know if it was, if the rules was different, he would have maybe worked a lot more. Mm -hmm. But you know, just the rules kind of you know changed up a little bit, but it made him change his game up a little bit. But I'm, of course, I managed to, you know, y'all y'all seen the evidence. I'm not gonna go to it. And the third, of course, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And and like, and if I'm gonna give him a comparison, I'll compare compare him to uh, like a Darren Williams or like a. A right hand version of Derek Fisher, his body and how he can dribble and cut and shoot back and step back and hit the jump shot if he wants to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So them were the three. Honestly, I'm, I'm no disrespect to everybody else that was on the list, but like right. them were the ones that really made me push a little. You know, bit. just a, just a little bit, just yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. So five and oh now, you kind of like uh, you know how in the westerns, uh, you got the top westerns now. Everybody gunning for the. Uh, 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 to be the top dog. Yeah. Uh, you're probably gonna be definitely feeling a little pressure after this uh, interview right here. <laughs> so nah, gonna, I, lo I love it. It's gonna definitely feel a little pressure, man. Uh, how you feeling about that? How you feeling about defending that Daddy? that five and oh? Um, hey, Daddy. Um, how I feel, I feel uh, always humble. You know, um, I, you win some, you lose some. You know what I'm saying. But when you lose, you just you just gotta know. You know, you just gotta know that you know if you lose, it doesn't mean you're done. You're done and out. You just you know work on your game, work on your craft, and get back and go harder. You know what I'm saying. But even winning, still remain humble because you know it still took me to be humble to get here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you're humble and I, and, and just you know have a culture game, you'll you know what I mean you'll be okay. You know, don't try to do too much or don't try to, you know, put too much strain on me. Because at the end of the day, I'm only human and I'm only trying to, you know, just put a, a ball in a bucket. You know what I'm saying? But it's still, I'm just trying to, you know, let it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I feel you. you got the, I see you got the uh, little one uh, here with you. How, how, yeah. how old is your boy there? Uh, he, he's five, man. His name uh, is AJ. You know, uh -huh. um, he just, you know, he just want to, he wants to know. Uh -huh. You know, like I, I try to take. He was at a few, like two of my games, mm -hmm. maybe one. And I, if you can see him on the camera, one mm -hmm. of the angles, you can see him mm -hmm. just, just, just staring from the far side of the cage. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but he, he gets it. Like he, everywhere he go, everywhere I go, like mm -hmm. I, I have a basketball in my hand, and he, he has one too. He's playing football because of size. He's a little stocky little dude, but by six or seven, eight, he's gonna, he's gonna slim up like me, mm -hmm. and he gonna, he's, he's gonna touch that rock. So yeah, he's, you know. Shout out to my son. I love you, boy. You know, but you know. How is it, uh, balancing, uh, okay. uh, being a father and working on your craft at, at all times? Because I know basketball, uh, hanging out uh, and being that uh, pro pro jump man is my bro. Mm -hmm. I know basketball is one of those things that if you ain't working on it all the time, you'll be a little rusty and don't even know it. Man, how you balancing uh, fatherhood and uh, and everything and keeping sharp on the on the skills? See, cause I honestly I'm a big kid, so like I can I can manage to transition from being a you know still you know mom dad dad mom whatever you want to call it to the kid, and then you know what I'm saying it. I, I let's just say I'm gonna sum it up. We can make time. I, I can just make time. You know? can make time. Basketball is my long long wife. You know what I mean. I've been married to her for so long, and like I, it don't matter what I've done or it, from the good time from the bad times, like basketball has always been there. 
like even from just sleep, sleeping outside or in the dark, it was if it wasn't a real basketball. If I wasn't sleeping at somebody's basketball court, you know, I was I was at a bus stop picking up rocks and shooting them in the trash can. Just like know, that. Um, I broke my ankle twice in high school, but you know, I supposed to let it. You know, you supposed to put the cast on for like eight months to however, however long they said the doctor say. I took it off in like a week or two. Mm-hmm. And I was, you know, still trying to. Mm-hmm. Rehabbing myself and out there just still just shooting buckets. Cut my arm in uh, eighth, sixth, and eighth grade, so it made my arm, you know, made me lose feeling. I had to be like this for like, you know, like four months. Had to do this, so that's why y'all see me use my left hand mm-hmm. fluently. That's why mm-hmm. I can roll it because I was always use. I was writing with my left hand. I was out there just sitting down with my left hand every day. So that's that's that made you versatile right there. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's like a gift and a curse at the same time. Pretty much. Right? Pretty much. But let's get into it. Let's talk about this up and coming uh uh challenge. Yeah. So that you got coming up. Yeah. Say it again. Yeah. 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 I believe I'm saying his last name. Acosta, yeah. That's, yeah, that's my boy, man. No, hey, man. Shout out to shout out to him, by the way, him his brother, man. I've been knowing yeah. him since we was we was Jay High the Sandbox. Mm-hmm. So shout out to Retea, man. He knows what it's gonna be when we on that court. He already knows, mm-hmm. man, you know. So it's gonna be something we all love, baby. Yeah. Mm, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, I heard it. Right here. Pro jump man Jones, right here. Daddy roll up. We got it right here. My man Alfred right here, man. Anything you wanna say, man, before you get out of here, any any, any anything you need to remind anybody of, or, or do they just need to see you on that court right now? Cause I, I like it. I like it when they get rough on that court yeah. right now. I usually I usually be rough and just be like, man, y'all. I just let the game do the talking. You know what I'm saying? I got to cash checks on the court. But uh, I'm gonna simplify it by saying this: uh, y'all stay tuned. Win or lose, I'm always gonna be there. I'm I'm gonna be forever pro Jumpman Jones. Y'all, you know I'm saying so. Y'all gonna see a lot of me, and I, I I appreciate all the fans that I got, man. Like uh, Kenneth, shout out to Kenneth. He be hitting me up all the time, man. Your videos, man. The reviews, man. And I, man, like like I said, just shout out to all y'all for giving me the respect that I feel like I deserve, and getting out that underrated conversation. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but one on one is a is is a different challenge for most. For most, you know what I'm saying? But me, I, I eat for moments like that. I, I, I cringe for moments like that ever since I was, like I said, four years old. And and just the feeling is just, it's, it's, it's cravingful. So I'm ready for the challenge. So like I said, let's just let's just go. Y'all tune in. Y'all, y'all. I love y'all to death, man. For real, for real. So shout out to all y'all for tuning in. But like I said, stay tuned. That's good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what's up, man. Taylor, That's roll up, man. baby. Roll up, baby. Y'all finna roll up to the spot and watch his hoop and watch his takeover. That's what we finna do, baby. That's what we finna do. Stay tuned, man. Y'all know what y'all missing. Hey, man. We appreciate you for coming through, man. Taking man. the time out. Because uh, cause not only uh, is it uh, big for you, it's big for uh, Pro Jumpman Jones. And we always talk about this Facts. 5 and 0. Oh, and who going to be the first person to do it, man. And. Uh, and the man him himself is right here in front of you guys. Yes, Pro yes, Jump Man Jones. Pro Jump Man Jones! Hey! <laughs> Shout out AG.